If you'd like to get a video featured on the series, just send me an email if on the instructions on the screen where I will personally make you the best setup that I possibly can. If needed, you can also send me your link through my Discord. Uh, I'll leave the link down in the description below. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with the video. All right, welcome back to another episode of Kingdom Keys series, everybody. For today's video, we're gonna be going over Kashim's metal album for today. And their question uh, they sent it to me by email was, hi, I'm a new player and look for a best setup to farm Lux. So they're looking for a Lux setup, okay? Don't actually know what Keyblade I need. I got all story mode keys till 25 and they'll soon get all the proud. Looks like counterpoints is the only way. Please give advice on what direction I look in the future. Is there anything in PVP for a newbie? Okay, all right. All right, so Kashim, in regards to your email, okay? I will be providing you the best type of raid boss setup that I could um, find for you. N normally, they normally finding the best raid boss setup requires time and testing. Um, so in these type of videos, I can't always for everybody be able to provide the best type of setup for like things like raid boss and such because that does because there's a lot of small subtle intricacies that get involved in that. But luckily for you, because of the fact that uh, your album, it, lo it looks to me like you don't really have too many medals just yet or anything. It was fairly easy for me to put together what I'm pretty sure is going to be your best setup for raiding. Um, it's actually a really good setup in general too. I, I, to be honest, it might even be your best setup for uh, in general on top of being a raiding setup, which is honestly kind of cool. Um, but in terms of your medals and album, uh, I want to point out a couple of things. So first of all, I want to point out that I noticed that you have like almost no copy medals at all whatsoever so we do four copy medals you only have a kingdom hearts 2 nominee and an hd nominee uh neither which are dotted at all and have no traits and no skills this one has second chance one which is kind of okay uh the and in terms of backwards copy metal you only have a big boys so in terms of that that is going to be very restrictive uh on our part in trying to create together a setup uh, luckily I was able to put together a setup that didn't require any copy medals. But from from this point onwards in the future and such, you're going to want to try and get as many copy medals as you can because they are literally the best medals in the entire game and will always be the best medals in the entire game from this point onwards. Highly meta medals such as like the uh, Kari EX Plus and Shion EX Plus that you clearly have right here as well. Uh, these are great for now. But that key word is for now, okay? Sooner or later, these medals will be replaced with a better Kyrie or Shion medal. Um, however, copy medals... Copy medals are... Even if a higher tier copy medal that does the same exact thing, kind of like the nominee medals that you have... Let me go back to those. So even though... Even if... You have a higher tier copy metal that's a direct replacement of a previous copy metal. This smaller copy metal is still valuable to have in the future. Just because like a newer one comes out does not mean that this one is all of a sudden not usable anymore. That is not the case. Even older tier copy metals are still very usable and very highly valuable within the game, regardless of their tier level. So for just a general advice for you, I would just re recommend trying to get as many more copy medals as possible and at the same time maybe putting some skills on them uh even if they're not guilted yet some skills on them wouldn't hurt but anyways uh in terms of everything else so aside from copy medals i noticed you barely have any actual like m main meta like buffer debuffer medals at all uh although Although, luckily for you, you do have Kairi Shion EX Plus, which is honestly, at least as of right now, up until the buff cap gets increased, which I'm expecting sometime fairly soon within the next few months or so. Uh, but at least until something like that happens, these these girls alone will be all you need in terms of buff and debuffs. Literally using just one of these alone in a setup can set up the rest of your Keyblade for you to just go full on damage, uh, which is... To be honest, exactly what we want for a raid boss. And lastly, aside from that, I also noticed, at least according to what you've been putting in your album, um, you've only you only have a handful, you only have four medals in your entire album that have luck skills on them. So 
when it comes to Lux, okay, the way that Lux works, and I'm gonna quickly organize this real quick to max album damage. The way that Lux works is that more damage equals more Lux, all right? Quite literally damage, okay, I'll do that for damage, equals Lux, all right? So the higher multiplier for metals that you have, the more Lux you're more likely gonna get from that, all right? So, this right here right now is currently organized according to what are your strongest metals in your entire album all right so the the website is saying um and the main reason why it's saying that you're what i forgot the name of this hd limit form sore main reason why it's saying your hd limit form sore is stronger than like say these metals right here is solely because of the fact you have an AB6 max on it compared to where these ones have like an AB5 max. Um, as well as the fact that I feel like, I believe Terra, like Terranor over here is a lower multiplier than uh, HG Lemma Form Sora. So that's why it's saying these guys are higher. But, but at the same time, it does have a damage condition of saying that it does more damage to bigger party and not everybody's going to have a full party every single time. That's actually honestly kind of rare these days to have a full party, um, at least in competitive play. So that can be a bit of a crutch, uh, but okay. But in your case, uh, this ends up being all right because we're not going to use him at all. So normally, like I said before, more damage equals more Lux. However, if you have a Lux skill on a metal, such as like your Axel Arts, for example, and I, I can't show it here, there it is, and even your other Terranort, they have Lux skills. Lux skills alone provide, I, I believe, I want to say an extra 50% of Lux. I could be wrong on that, but it, it's something like that. Um, they provide a, they provide a huge amount more Lux compared to just using the metal by itself. So because of the fact that your damage metals right here are basically almost exactly along the same wavelength as everything in this category, all right, you're, you're going to want to use the metals that have the Lux skills on them, which are going to be the Axles, um, as well as the Terranort. All right. You also have an HD Wisdom Form Soar over here with an AB5 Max and Lux Plus. So our main targets for your raid boss setup are going to be between these four metals if possible as your damage metals. So after realizing that, this is the setup that I basically created for you. Let me put it up. We have a Kyrie EX Plus right here in the first slot. Shion EX Plus in the second slot. We have an HD limit form Sora right there in the third slot HT wisdom form Sora in fourth uh, and then both axles in fifth and sixth okay now in case anybody is wondering why exactly I put it together like this this is the main reason originally I was testing out if I could do just the Shion EX plus um because I was working with mostly reverse metals I even had the Terranort right here in the sixth slot too uh, but then I realized like I'm actually losing out on damage because of these two slots right here So that's why we have the Kyrie here and end up being the the best decision. I, I was able to get more uh, damage done So out for this entire setup you literally have Three main damage metals over here who have Lux plus which is really good. That's what you want um, The only drawback is that you do have one metal right here that does not have a Lux skill however, he is one of your strongest damage metals in the game, so you should be able to bring in a fair amount of Lux as well. The only recommendation in terms of this setup, because honestly, this setup is actually almost completely fine. Uh, the only suggestion I would suggest, well, <laughs> basically, is to provide a second chance skill, okay? Second chance on one or both of your uh, of these girls right here. Um, so because of the fact you, you want to be able to try and beat the raid boss if possible in one sitting without having to go back without having to lose go back and re-enter the raid boss because that just cut that just eats up your time and time is the biggest factor when it comes to raiding uh in this game um, a lot of people will argue to you that raid boss traits or luck skills are uh the best or are, are the best things that uh help you get more Lux. And while they do contribute 
to helping you get more lux. They are not the main factor in getting more lux, okay? The main factor is time. Trying to conserve time is your biggest factor. So if you can put a second chance skill on your Kyrie or Shion EX Plus over here, and I'll be coming out with a video actually fairly soon. I've already uh, started preparing for it on a raid boss guide uh, to help people out. Because I know that there's actually a few, what's it called, misconceptions about raiding. Uh, kind of like what I just showed right here. How there's a little bit of confusion on what's actually the best in terms of raiding. But yeah, just put a second chance on one of these two. Or, and I would honestly prefer both if possible. Uh, but in terms of setups, I have Kyrie here just to provide upright uh, buffs and debuffs uh, for these two slots right here. And then I have the Shion here just to provide max reverse buffs and debuffs for the last two medals over here. And that's pretty much the entire setup. They both provide max PSM and general uh, strength buffs as well as ge uh, general defense debuffs and PSM debuffs. So they're fine right there but aside from that like this is honestly your best setup it's not too complicated it's fairly easy to use um and the fact that you're a new player as well and have both of these is really fantastic <laughs> you won't you won't have to worry about much for quite a long time which is great uh to get started with in terms of pvp though uh if we were to take a look at this you there's there's a few it's kind of hard to give advice on pvp if i'm not making a setup for pvp so and especially because of the fact that these videos come out only on sundays uh which is literally like a day before reset uh it's not gonna it, it's kind of hard to give general advice on like those type of things so i'm just kind of pointing out some medals over here and that uh are kind of going to be useful for PvP, or at least you want to keep an eye on uh, for that matter anyways. So I don't know if you've happened to watch any of my previous competitive guides in the past, especially the the little few of PvP videos I've made in the past as well. I've covered turtling, status elements, but you have a couple of medals right here already on the screen that you can take a look at. So right now, uh, these two medals right here, you have Violet, Prime Violet and Prime Mrs. Incredible. These two medals right here are currently the best turtle medals in the game in terms of the, the turtle meta. Uh, and if you don't know what a meta is, that means basically what is the best strategy in terms of whatever it is it is for. So for turtling anyways, these two medals combined are literally the best medals in the game for turtling. Um, now, normally you would want to try and have, for PvP, your best option is to try and have a DB4 defense boost for max, okay, on at least your Violet over here. However, I know it's been a while since we've gotten defense boost for. I don't know when's the next time we're going to get defense boost for. So, so another alternative thing you can do, uh, which will actually be a little bit easier, is to actually get a defense boost 3 instead max. Okay, put it on Violet, and then what you can do there is actually put a defense boost 5 on Prime Mrs. Incredible, all right? Put a defense boost 5 on her, and the reason for this is because of the fact that a that the combination of defense boost 3 max plus a defense boost 5 is more or less the equivalent of a defense boost 4 max, which is like I mentioned before, kind of what you want. And that alone will help bring you up in the higher tiers a little bit. Um, but as far as I can tell, you don't really have <laughs> any like defense skills uh, being a new player and such. So whenever you get the chance to go ahead and try and put defense skills on your turtle medals, okay? Uh, Cause then you can go ahead and start using turtling strategies. Heck, you can, you can even start doing it right now using some turtling strategies. And I would recommend going back and checking one of my turtling uh, PvP meta guides for that, uh, but you can use these for those. And another key metal that I want to point out as well is going to be this Incredibles 2 metal right here. Uh, a lot of people tend to not like these kind of self these spell type metals and stuff. Uh, but these type of metals are actually low-key good, especially in the upcoming meta. As of right now, it's already starting to show signs of happening. But I'm pretty confident that given in like like a month or two we'll start seeing a type of uh, meta that 
is essentially having effects carry over into other Keyblades all the time, in which case metals such as like the Incredibles 2 right here is gonna be super valuable. Heck, even with just the release of the Nominate EX Plus metal right now, uh, that's already being used. Heck, I'm using that myself in my current strategy. And metals like, so, like the spell metals like the Incredibles 2 right here are just so, so just like, disastrous for my type of strategies. Another good benefit about metals such as uh, Incredibles 2, for example, which is basically just a tier eight version of Man in Black. It was a high score challenge metal from like forever ago. Another good benefit about this is that if you are choosing to use a strategy like, strategy like that yourself, in which case you're having your abilities carry over into other rounds, I don't think you have any metals that do that by chance. Um, you kind of do, like, like for example, you have Illustrated Kingdom Hearts 2 Sora. For two turns, it lowers your target's defense by one and raises your upright strength by three. So basically, let's say you have this metal right here on your first Keyblade, okay? It's on your first Keyblade. That means that when you go to the second round, okay, your opponent is still gonna have the minus one general defense, okay, debuff. And then, as well as you will still have the plus three upright buff, okay? Upright strength buff. All right, you're still gonna have this on round two. And this is kind of how the strategy is working. Um, and there's a lot of metals like with Nomina EX Plus that are making huge buffs and huge debuffs to carry over into the second round. So that way they can go just pure damage metals if possible and not have to worry about using debuff for metals and such. So, and that, and that's what I'm like trying to explain. Metals like the Incredibles 2 in the future, um, even right now a little bit too, are going to be super deadly for those type of strategies. Um, it's also, our, uh, and just like I mentioned before, it's actually even helpful for those type of strategies as well because there are going to be metals like Zexion Plus, for example. Uh, and let's go ahead and actually like look that up real quick. There's going to be metals like Zexion Plus, for example. Let's pull it up who actually lower your general strength by three, uh, which can be deadly if like you're using Nominate EX plus, uh, which, and this lasts for multiple turns like Zexion plus. So having a metal that can just completely get rid of all the debuffs your opponent has put on you, and there's only a handful of metals that actually do this in the entire game. Uh, Man in Black and Incredibles 2 are, I believe like the only metals in the game that self dispel yourself. But there are a lot of metals that's, that dispel the opponent. But there's only two in the game, I believe, that actually dispel yourself. And that that right there is going to be very useful. Um, so these three metals alone are being really good. Of course, you have the Kyrie Nomine, or Kyrie and Show, my bad. EX Plus, uh, that's just good for any setup at all whatsoever. Copy metals are going to be fantastic too. Uh, and to be honest, that's, that's kind of it for now. Like, at, for PvP especially as a beginning player, it's gonna be hard for you to compete with anybody who's doing raw damage. So in order to compete against people who have raw damage, your best bet is to try and compete in alternative ways instead, such as with turtling. Um, and this can be kind of just used, thrown in there in like random strategies too. Uh, turtling and status ailments. Status ailments are gonna be help you basically shank the damage players so that way <laughs> you can rise yourself up in the ranks a little bit. But that's just kind of the general advice I can give as of right now for a new player. But once again, this right here is going to be your best setup for uh, raiding. At least I believe it's going to be. Um, and to be honest, it's actually probably going to be one of your best setups in general too. Uh, which is pretty nice because it's a Divine Rose and that's a pretty easy keyblade to get. But... Other than that, that was Kashim's al metal album for today. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.